know, we've been trying to get on Crystal for almost 10 years and we've never had any luck. Ricky really wants to go on Crystal and see what it's like and it'd be good for her and you know what? It'd be good for the website too. And I want to reach out to you regarding an opportunity we have in September that might be of interest to Crystal Cruises. So uh, we continue to be interested, blah, blah, blah. I'd like to have you on cruisereport.com. Please let me know if these dates are acceptable so we can move forward. Okay. Oh well, let's give it a try. Did you know you have the, the world's most wonderful job? Yeah, that's what they say. Everybody we talk to seems to agree that we have the dream job. The dream business, being able to cruise all the time and you know. You know, I guess if you you know if you go on a cruise once a year, you think it's great because that's well, something you're looking forward to, but when you do it as a business, it's different. It is different. It's work. It's a job. Okay, let's check the email here. Looks like we got something back from Crystal already. Wow, that was quick. Chris, sure, we'd love to have you. Wow. Great. We get to go on Crystal? Ricky will be excited. Hey, I just got an email from Crystal, and looks like we're going to be going on a cruise out of New York City in September. Oh, fantastic. I've always wanted to go on Crystal. That's exciting. Now i got to go buy some new clothes. We're in the same clothes. If you look at our reviews and look at our pictures, you can see I'm wearing the same thing back in 2002 that I'm wearing right now. But yet every time we go, you go shopping. So, I mean, every time we go on a trip, you have to go get your hair done, you got to go get your nails done, you got to have the mani-pedi. What's that all about? <laughs> Chris just doesn't understand. Before I go on a cruise, I have to get my hair done, I have to buy new clothes, I have to get Manny Patty. There's things that have to be done. Packing's the worst part for me, and, and I don't know why. You would think after a hundred cruises, I would have it down to a science, but I don't. Yeah, it because doesn't seem to be getting any better. <laughs> have, oh, it's, it's a battle every single time it's we a go on a cruise. I fight. It's a battle. You stand there and pat your foot. Like, I'm taking stuff that I shouldn't be taking. And I have to tell you that everything I take is absolutely essential. We love New York City. So anytime we go there, we always try to find a hotel that we can review for our website before we go to get on the ship. This is the most amazing city in the world. Literally within a mile of the hotel, in any direction, you can find restaurants, shops, just any kind of entertainment, Broadway shows, you name it. This is the place to be, so you don't want to come to New York City and not spend a few extra days here. You know, I think we got into this because we liked to cruise. I mean, that's why we started this to begin with, because we enjoyed cruising. We're, we're toasting days. our sail away with, uh, I don't even know what kind of champagne this is. And nuts. And nuts, okay. So let's toast to another cruise. Crystal. Real crystal that sounds like plastic when you <laughs> when you clink them. Weird. But it says Rydell on the uh, flute, so I assume yeah. it's really crystal. But when we when we click them, it sounds like plastic. Weird. It's amazing, there's just way too much food. Have you ever awakened to a new world every day of your vacation? Have you ever crossed a continent without touching a suitcase? Have you ever taken a cruise with endless views? Or had a place far, far away hand delivered to you and you to it? We cordially invite you to take a cruise of a different kind with an Avalon River Cruise.
You know, I think my favorite part of visiting Bar Harbor is just walking along the shoreline and getting down close to the water on the rocks and just enjoying the scenery. You know, we can see our ship over here. Uh, it's just a beautiful day. It's about 70 degrees. When you think of the Maine coast, you think of cragginess and ruggedness, and this is pretty much what it is. A lot of rocks, uh, some hills, some mountains, the ocean right here. It, it's beautiful. The weather is perfect. You know, a lot of times you go on a cruise, you, you go on the excursions, and you end up spending a lot of time on a, on a bus. But sometimes the best thing to do is just get off on your own, take a walk, and just do some discovering. It's cold. It's a little chilly. It is a little chilly. Especially right on the water with the wind blowing off the water. Yeah, but it's still a pretty place. I'm standing on the sun deck on Crystal Symphony overlooking the pool deck. And it's early in the morning, the sun's coming up. You can kind of see the ship waking up. Uh, the crew is down there putting the cushions on the deck chairs. Uh, there's a few early morning risers out walking around the deck getting some exercise. I'm just looking forward to checking out the ship and seeing what all she has to offer. We're here today in Boston at Quincy Market. Uh, Crystal Symphony brought us over here on the shuttle. Uh, we're gonna try to learn a little bit about American history. Apparently, this is the city where it all started. But we're gonna learn a little bit about it. We're gonna try to find the Freedom Trail and see if we can learn a little more about American history here in Boston. Well, we're at the end of our Freedom Trail tour. We're at Bunker Hill Monument, which was the beginning of the, really the beginning of the American Revolution. It's where the first battle was fought. And even though we, uh, we lost the battle, the British lost over a thousand men, and they knew they had a formidable opponent on their hands. So even though this is the end of the trail for us, it's kind of the beginning of the trail uh, for America. Captain's just now pulling into Halifax, Nova Scotia. He's docking the ship. We got a busy day today. We're going to be meeting with uh, Joseph, the hotel manager, talk about some things. Uh, we're going to get to do a galley tour with the chef later on. And we're going to go check out a couple of staterooms that are available for us to take some pictures and video for our website. It's going to be a busy day. Hopefully, we'll have some time this afternoon to get off and actually get to see Halifax. Formal night is not my favorite night. You know, I think after you've done 200 of them, it's enough. Let me see if I can get this tie on. Made in China, what are the odds? You know, some people love to dress up. Tie, I mean, you don't even have to really tie it, it's just got a clip thing on it. But I guess I'm just not one of those people. I can't seem to get it to... I brought my tux. It doesn't fit very good. Dear God. I mean, all the guys look like idiots, and the women all look nice. After over a week on Crystal, I can still fit into my clothes. I don't think I'm going to be able to. Oh! 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 
tighten the hips. It's just another opportunity for the guys to look like idiots. Guys don't like formal night. Ain't no way. Might be easier just to tie a damn bow tie and get it over with. Real men don't like formal night. Oh, this is good. You need to taste this. I'm eating my Indian dinner that the Indian sous chef prepared for me, and it's amazing. There's just way too much food. I need my friend Brian here to help me eat this because they prepared enough food for five people, and it's, it's amazing. They made me lamb, beef, chicken, lentils. It's just amazing. Well, today we're in Quebec City, Canada, after having spent two really wonderful days at sea on board Crystal Symphony. We got a chance to do a lot of really cool things. And he's... That's in the hole! First of all, you get to relax. Days at sea are great because you can lay around, take naps. You don't have to worry about getting off the ship. We got to go to lectures. We went to a movie on board the ship. Ricky even took a piano lesson. Like she's going to learn how to play the piano in two days on a cruise ship. Well, whatever. Uh, she really enjoyed it. And today we're in Quebec City. We're going to get off the ship. Well, this is our last day on Crystal Symphony. I know, I'm gonna hate to leave. It's been beautiful. You think it was worth the 10 year wait? Yeah, hope we don't have to wait another 10 years before we get to go on Crystal again. Yeah, you know, I think it, uh, it really exceeded my expectations in almost every, uh, every category. What do you think? The service was excellent. The crew, smiling and accommodating. They, they don't know the word no on Crystal. Yeah. It's amazing. Everything we asked for. The butler, the cabin stewardess, the cabin was spotless. Food was excellent. I mean, what more could you ask for? It's a wonderful experience. Yeah, and you wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't know the ship was 15, 16 years old by looking at it. I mean, they've really done a great job of refur refurbishing it or maintaining it. I mean, yeah, uh, it was really a good itinerary. I think this, this New York to Montreal itinerary was better than I expected. Yep. Thank you, Crystal. I hate to leave and I hope I get to come back. Have you ever awakened to a new world every day of your vacation? Have you ever crossed a continent without touching a suitcase? Have you ever taken a cruise with endless views? Or had a place far, far away hand delivered to you and you to it. We cordially invite you to take a cruise of a different kind with an Avalon River Cruise.